Kumusta na kayo mga learners? Tayo ngayon ay nasa week 2. Ang title, Different Angles, Attributes and Properties of Triangles and Quadrilaterals. Halina kayo, samahan niyo muli ako sa ating video. After the lesson, the learner will be able to describe and illustrate the different kinds of angles. Look at the following illustrations below. What can you say about them? What did you notice? Take a look at the shapes formed in figure 1, 2, and 3. With these shapes, we can see angles 2. An angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point. It can be measured by degrees. Types of angles Right angle An angle whose measure is equal to 90 degrees. It can be represented by drawing a small square box between the arms of an angle. Acute angle An angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees, it is smaller than a right angle. Obtuse angle An angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Many objects around us are representations of geometric ideas such as shapes. A quadrilateral has more properties linked with it than a triangle. A quadrilateral is the most important and common type of polygon. A triangle is a polygon with three sides, triangles, and three vertices. The sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. A polygon is a closed figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. The line segments are called sides and do not cross each other. There are exactly two sides that meet at a point. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides four angles, and four vertices. All the internal angles of a quadrilateral sum up to 360 degrees. For your learning task 1, read the story of Paula and find out how her older sister could help her by answering the questions that follow. Paula is a grade 4 pupil of the Mesa Elementary School. Her teacher assigned her to draw or illustrate different types of angles using a protractor, a ruler, and a pencil, and describe its type. Paula thought that it was easy for her to do the assigned task, but when she was starting to do it, she didn't know what to do, so she asked the help of her older sister, Marie. These are Marie's instructions. 1. Prepare the materials needed like band paper, protractor, ruler, and pencil. 2. Introduce the use of each material. 3. Follow the steps in drawing or illustrating the different types of angles. Here are the steps in drawing or illustrating the different types of angles. Step 1. Draw a straight line using a ruler and a pencil. Step 2. Place the center of your protractor on one end of this line. 
3. Count from 0 degrees and mark a dot at the required angle. Step 4. Remove the protractor and join the end of the line where you place the protractor to do the dots using a ruler. Step 5. Mark the angle using a pencil and check that it looks correct. After knowing the steps in illustrating angle, answer the given exercises. Learning Task 2 Read the story of Mrs. Perez and find out how she solves her problem. Mrs. Perez bought an illustration board for her mathematics class. She needs two triangles of the same size without wasting any part of the illustration board. How will she divide it? What shapes are formed after dividing the illustration board? Study the following figures. Can you describe its illustration? Say something about the shapes, number of sides, corners, and the kind of angles it is made of. Learning Task 3 Tell whether its type of angle is right, acute, or obtuse. Write your answers on the space provided. For number 1, that is acute angle. Learning Task 4. Draw the following angles and name them. Number 1, that is angle A, B, C. And that is acute angle. For Learning Task 5, give the kind of angle represented by each of the following figures. In learning task 6, tell whether its figure is a triangle or a quadrilateral. Write your answers on the space provided. Learning task 7, using the drawing below, tell whether the figure labeled by its letter is a triangle or quadrilateral. Write T on the space provided if it is a triangle and Q if it is a quadrilateral. Letter A is a triangle. In your learning task 8, answer the following questions below. Draw a triangle if your answer is yes and a square if your answer is no. In number 1, do all triangles have 3 sides and 3 angles? That is, yes. Now, you can identify the different types of angles such as right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle. The following are the facts that you should remember. Angle is a figure formed by two rays meeting at a common point. Angles are measured in degrees using a protractor. Different types of angle. Right angle measures 90 degrees. We can even draw a small square between the two rays. Acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. You can now describe the attributes or properties of a triangle and a quadrilateral. 
Read, understand, and remember the following. A triangle is a polygon with three sides, three angles, and three vertices. The sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. A polygon is a closed figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. The line segments are called sides and do not cross each other. There are exactly two sides that meet at a point. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, four angles, and four vertices. All the internal angles of a quadrilateral sum up to 360 degrees. Learning task 9. A. Give what is asked for its item. 1. Name two objects with right angle. 2. Name two objects with acute angle. 3. Name two objects with obtuse angle. B. Draw your dream house using different angles. Label the angles used. Based on the lesson that you studied, Let's find out if you really understand it by answering the questions below. For your learning task 10, A. Answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. 1. What is a polygon? A. Closed figure made up of cross line segments. B. Closed figure made up of straight line segments. C. An open figure made up of cross line segments. D. An open figure made up of straight line segments. 2. Which property allows you to name a quadrilateral? A. Five sided figure. B. Four sided figure. C. Three sided figure. D. Two sided figure. 3. Which of the following is not a polygon? A. Quadrilateral B. Pentagon C. Semicircle D. Hexagon 4. How many sides does a triangle have? A. 3 B. 4 C. 5 D. 6 5. How many sides does a quadrilateral have? A3, B4, C5, D6. Draw a rectangular garden. At the center, draw a triangular pool. Design your garden with any four-sided object that will make it beautiful and attractive. Use this rubric. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Hanggang isa muli, samahan niyo ako sa mga susunod pa mga videos. Huwag kakalimutan na mag-subscribe. Pwede kayong mag-comments, mag-like at i-share ang ating mga videos. Hanggang isa muli, paalam!